Hello and welcome back to another bridge tutorial for our uh, Minecraft bedrock add-ons and I'm going to be continuing on with our food. So I've already covered how to create an item, I've covered how to turn that into food and now I'm going to actually expand on that. So first things first, in your behaviour pack, go into items and then into your item that you're working on. And last time, if you remember, we had this food component and we had some things in here that we didn't use. So this time I'm going to click can always eat and I'm going to select true. So this means just like a golden apple, we can always eat this item. So just in case you want the, uh, the effects from it, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to add an effect. What I'm also going to do is click here and now click on on consume okay and then it's going to ask me is it an event a target or a condition so the condition might be that the player has to have something in particular it may be a certain amount of health or maybe something some sort of effect or something like that but we're not going to worry about the condition the target normally you target is it the holder is it the item itself but we're not going to worry about that in here because we'll do that in the event. So I'm going to go for event and then add value. I'm going to put eat. Okay. So our event is called eat. You can call that whatever you want as long as you reference it correctly in a moment. Um, and I'll tell you what else I'm going to do in here. Now this isn't here as an add object. Bridge doesn't actually support this. But... If you go on the bedrock.dev website, you're going to see a lot more components than Bridge actually has built in. So I'm going to add here using converts to and press enter. And then I'm going to add a value. So in here, let's put stick. Okay. And this basically is like with the mushroom stew. If you eat the mushroom stew, you get a bowl back. Now, some might say it makes sense you get a stick after eating an apple, but I'm just using this as a way to show you that there are more things that you can do than Bridge actually gives you access to. Um, but anyway, so we have got our can always eat. That's on. On consume, we're going to trigger this event. Now we need to add the event. So back up at Minecraft item, I'm going to click here. We're going to click add object and then we get this drop down called events. Okay, so I'm going to add this and then in add object, I'm going to put eat. Okay, so what this does is this now has created an event called eat and this will get called upon here. Yeah, when the food is consumed, it's going to run the event called eat and here is where we add all of the different events. So... If we look down here, what sort of events can we have? Well, we can randomize something. We could shoot, swing, decrement the stacks to so take one away. We've got damage. But what I'm looking at is add mob effect. Okay, so this is in line with like the golden apples, for instance. So add mob effect. I'm now going to go add object. And we're going to look here. We've got effect. So this is the kind of effect, like a potion effect or something. We've got the target, which is going to be ourselves, the duration, which is how long it will last for, and the amplifier being how strong that is. So think of the speed potion. You could have speed level one, or you could have speed level two, or you could probably go even higher. But let's start at the top. So let's go effect, and then in add value, you can see here that we could have all the effects. Um, we've got absorption, which is like the golden apple. We've got bad omen from, obviously, if you kill one of the uh, the raid chiefs. We've got blindness. We've got conduit power. We've got all these different things. But for now, I'm going to add jump boost because I think that'll be fun. Um, we're then going to go back into the add object and we're going to go target. And that's going to be the holder. Okay, so that's going to be you as the holder of the apple. That's who it's affecting okay we've then got duration so how long is it going to last so i'm thinking we go 10 seconds i think this is done in seconds i could be wrong but this is something that you can play about with if you want it longer add more numbers if you want it shorter then take away and then back in the add mob effect we're going to go amplifier so this is how 
as I say, you know, like you get speed level one, speed level two, so on and so forth. So we'll go for let's go for five. Let's go. Let's go crazy. So I'm going to control S to save that. And sometimes I like to get in the habit of closing this because if you haven't saved it, when you close that, it will prompt you as to um, would you like to save it? Okay, so that's all saved and done. I'm going to minimize this. We're going to open up Minecraft. And then I'm going to, going to go into my world. So this world has already got the pack installed. This is obviously following on from adding the apple in. And there's our apple. Okay, now because I've added can always eat, I should now be able to eat this. I can. And you can see there, whoa, that I've got a jump boost. Which is pretty cool. And when that runs out, I'll probably... Yeah, I took full damage. So you can see there, normal jump. And you can also see that it's giving us a stick. Every time we're eating it, we're getting a stick in return. So this is quite handy. Maybe you want to make um, some pork ribs. Yeah, and you eat the rib and then you return yourself a bone. I've been looking at doing a peaceful pack and that's something that I've looked at. So... You'd obviously, you'd have to add that pork rib to the pig's loot table, but that's stuff for later on. But for now, if you want some magic food that can do some awesome stuff, then there you go. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button on the way out. And until next time, take care, stay cool. Bye-bye.